If you have drawn this one, and even if you haven't, you can still write this down. This one is vitally important. It is called, and you want to write this down, Sierpinski's Triangle. Okay? Now, it's very, very interesting. Okay? It comes up in a place, well, actually, it comes up in a lot of places, but one of the places you would least expect it, I'm going to show you. Okay? So, here we go. Uh, another one. Okay. Now, I want you to have a look at this. Go away, menu. Now, I've had to make the numbers very small so that I can fit a lot of them in. Okay? But I'll read out some of the numbers and then you can tell me what this is. One, 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 two, one, one, three, two. This is, this is Pascal's triangle. <laughs> Now, you're like, big deal, Pascal's triangle is really easy. All you have to do is add numbers, okay? Well, actually, there are some interesting patterns in here. I'll just give you one example. Like this, there's, there's literally hundreds, okay? But I'm just going to pick out one to do with this guy, okay? Um, I know you can't probably see it, but you can guess, right? There are lots of odd numbers and lots of even numbers, okay? Now, I wonder, how do you think they would be distributed through Pascal's triangle? Will it be kind of random? Will they be in straight lines? Where are they going to be? And guess what? If you highlight all the even numbers, you get these guys. You're like, are you, are you for real? Yep, yeah, I'm for real. And it keeps going. It keeps going. You just get these. And by the way, this is why it's so important that you didn't actually construct the triangles in the middle, right? Because you would ruin Siopinski's triangle, okay? You need to, these things, they need to be empty because that, they represent these, right? Now, by the way, it's not just even or odd. You can actually try it for different multiples of different numbers. You can try it for the multiples of three. You can try it for the multiples of four. You will get different versions of Siopinski's triangle, okay? Speed version, because I've got like four minutes. Um, the other two fractals, I want to tell you what their names were. So we had this guy, um, the people who struggled with trisecting. I think it was something like this, something like this. And then you had to trisect these guys. Not, not the, not the, uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, no, you did. <laughs> what? Uh, like that. And then you could go again, like this. <laughs> Every edge gets a new triangle on it. Now, what does this thing look like? It looks kind of like a snowflake of some kind. It's like a, or a ninja star, if you like. This again, if I can finish it, has a name similar to this. It's called the Kosh Snowflake. Kosh Snowflake, okay? Right, very last one, which you started by doing a square, and then a triangle, and then another pair of squares, and then more similar triangles, and smaller squares, and so on. Okay? This guy, because if you have a look at it, now, I'll shade a part of it that will illustrate this for you. If I shade in this part here, uh, this square, and this square, and the square I started with. If you have a look at those, right, uh, this particular part of the diagram, the part that I've colored in, conveniently with four colors, is, this is one of the classic proofs of Pythagoras' theorem, isn't it? Like you can cut up these shapes and you can rearrange the two small ones to fit into the big one, okay? So therefore, this thing, and if you keep going, it starts to look like the leaves of a tree. It's called the Pythagorean tree, okay? And you can keep going, you can get interesting different kinds of shapes depending on what kind of triangle you drew in here, okay? Now, last thing before I ask you to pack up. Uh, the people who are doing the Kosh Snowflake, I asked you what would happen if you did it with a square, okay? So what would it look like? Here's a square, rough one. Mm. If I trisect, and then I trisect again, and so on. You're still getting um, a similar kind of, wow, this is gonna take a while. This is the problem with fractals. They take you a long time to make. Got it, okay, there you go. And I could go again, couldn't I? Uh, well, it's not kind of like snowflake, is it? But it's a similar kind of thing. 
it's got, and I really mean similar, this kind of scale symmetry within it, okay? 